Hi Felters and welcome. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We are doing the World of Wool kit with a Romeo Rabbit. I have wanted to do a rabbit or a hare for a long time now, but I haven't been sure how to do it. So I thought I would go with World of Wool, which is a UK based um, wool provider and they have the most amazing kits. They have, a, I think it's over 25 kits and I really, really uh, think they are fantastic. At the moment, their price is, I think, about £22.99. I think that's what they are, but obviously that might change. But this is what you get in the box. So you get instructions and these instructions are written by Cindy Lou Thompson from Chick Tin Creations, who, if, if you don't know her, she's fantastic. She does the most amazing dogs amongst other things and she also has a book out and I've done a book review I'll link that at the end but these are some of the wools you get I love it because the wools are carded and I love working with carded wools so these are what you this is what you get in the kit um, everything you're going to need you even get obviously the armature but you get three needles so you get two big ones in case you snap one and one fine one and this is a really good needle felting pad so I was really pleased with that Let's get started um, and see if I can make Romeo Rabbit look like this. So there we go, armature built up um, and we've got the core wool wrapped around it. Now this video is not me teaching you how to do it, this is me just showing you the kit. Um, so this is not me teaching you and going all through it. So that's putting on one layer. I could have built him up a bit more I think underneath before I did it. Um, and then I realised the head was too small so I had to make the head bigger and there I've wrapped his um, paws as well so he's starting to look a little bit more rabbity. So yeah, I was really enjoying him, especially when he, they start to look a bit more like what you're making. So let's, oh, I just wanted to show you, this is the Merino Hazelnut. What a beautiful colour. Um, and then I started, I did an eye. There is a problem with the eye, which you can all spot probably straight away. But uh, let's do a little bit more and then we'll come back to the eye. So the eye was too big, so I had to pull them off and redo them. My family kept taking the mick out of him and saying he was watching them from when, wherever they were in the room. So it's so easy with needle felting, you just rip it off and there's the big eye, there's the small eye. Much, much better. So I was really pleased that I did make the decision to do that. On with the ears.
So here he is all done. I was so happy with him. The instructions were fab. I got all the proportions given to me for the armature and the measurements. So really, really good kit and I really do recommend it. I think I'd love to do Sheldon Sheep next. If any of you have done one, let me know. Put it in the comments below. Let me know how it went. Um, I haven't done the whiskers because I'm doing a video on how to do four different types of whiskers. So that's going to be out tomorrow, probably. But um, I know he's good because my daughter said straight away, can I keep him? So I know I've done a good job. So does he look like the picture? Not 100 percent. Does he look like a cute rabbit? Absolutely. And I loved it. I loved all the colours. I loved everything. So I had plenty of colours left over. I used a tiny bit of my own core wool. I think, but I, I had plenty of wool. I think I did them a bit big and the mat was great. So I was really happy. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I do recommend if you fancy doing, they've got giraffes, hedgehogs, robins, unicorns, pigs, loads. Do have a look at their site um, and it, they will lead you through. But thanks for watching and see you soon.